Hello, my name is Cheyenne Schwinn and I am a student here at Fresno University in the game design program. This is my January sprint, uh, two out of two. This is my uh, second set of weeks. So this is the end of the January sprint. I have done quite a lot this uh, past few weeks, so let's get right into it. So I have a uh, remote and online way that I'm doing this class. That's how I have to because I'm in uh, located in Illinois, so I have to be online and remote. Um, this is January, as I said before, month five of uh, my courses. And my instructor for this month is Lacellus Adams. I hope I got that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, so the total hours completed the sprint was 51, I think. I'm not very good at math, and I think I messed up the hours a little bit, but it was it was plenty. Um, my total completed this month, however, uh, per my logging, was 101, and my expected monthly hours are 100. So I did exceed a little bit on that. Uh, my achievements this sprint is that I was able to base my work off of a mood board that I created. Um, I just thought of like really quickly, I should do this and it'll help me actually format my stuff easier. So I actually thought it would take longer than I would, uh, I was supposed to, to finish the dialogue but i actually finished the dialogue in a day so that was the quickest i have ever worked on like a story aspect and that was really uh really a good achievement for me i finished the scenery photos by my estimated time frame and actually was a day early from finishing them i think i was expecting to finish it on wednesday or uh thursday maybe but i finished it either on wednesday or on tuesday and that was like a day before it was um i was expecting it to be uh my deadline i think uh, is that how that how that is how that went um for the exporting and finalizing files i made a subtitled video um and with the scene photos, I was actually able to finish that uh, subtitled video that I made the night before my ending estimated time. So I actually got that a little bit earlier than I was expecting as well, and that was a pretty good achievement too. Um, my objectives are to try to fine tune my style and further my foundation for betterment in my art pieces, especially working with things in Photoshop, um, making the graphics I made um, for the sceneries. It was interesting. I had to sometimes add things. Sometimes things didn't come out the way I wanted them to, but I started running out of time and I couldn't fine tune everything that I wanted, but I got my point across and it was pretty pretty decently worked. Some of them looked more realistic than others. I wish I could have had a little bit more time to explore with Photoshop and using pictures and cutting pictures out and putting them in there to make them look stylized with my uh, the way that I was doing my photo alterations. Um, but it still came out pretty decently and I'm very proud of it. Uh, I was able to stay at a good pace and keep on track with my work. I was able to push work early, as I mentioned a little bit earlier about the sceneries and the dialogue. I was able to push it early and finish things sooner. So I did run into a few issues this time. I was actually unable to fully put what was in my mind onto the screen. I had some issues with that with some of the sceneries that I was making. It didn't look as I thought in my mind it would look like. Um, but I was able to tweak a few little things and I basically was overall happy with what came out um and then i know it's a little bit frustrating for this to be a, a thing but i know that as i actually work more towards it and get more practice in i'll get better in the long run so then the last issue i had was um i was working on uh, adobe and my computer decided to reset itself so my pc crashed and i ended up losing some um some of my progress but i was able to get back to a good spot in the same day not not a big issue but just a little inconvenience so this was the dialogue that i wrote um with the help of an, a prompt idea from our 
project lead, I was able to break that down into um, a dissection of what each piece could mean. So basically I took a screenshot here and wrote dialogues um, to be uh, shown in the photos, but not... Um, it's linked to the photos, but not what will be said. It was ideas. So I wanted to twist it and make it our own. So I d dissected each piece from the dialogue that he gave me, that I di dialogue idea, and I mashed it to uh, altered photos that I took from a uh, copyright website that has free-to-use content. They have a lot of great stuff, and I'll talk about that later. Um, so dialogue continued in week three. I wrote these dialogue prompts. These are the ones that I made myself, um, just without editing and all that. Um, and I just took those dissected pieces and made it my own. Uh, so using the prompts that the project lead in gave me inspiration from, I was able to make this first draft and show, like, scenery bits of what I sort of wanted to come across for how to introduce the game to people when they're playing the game. Um, so then I went into dialogue revision and editing and these were the um, the edited, uh, edited dialogues. So after the ideas were approved and revisions were made for grammar, punctuation, and concise writing, then I posted the edited versions on our um, team Discord for approval. They ended up being fine, and uh, we moved on. So this is week three and four. I was working on the sceneries over the weekend, so it was like uh, probably Friday to Tuesday or Wednesday whenever I got those in because I was aiming to get it fi finished before Wednesday night. And I think I got it done on Tuesday night. So that was a, that was a pretty good time frame for me. Um, so bear with me. There is quite a few. It's shorter when it's in an actual video. <laughs> it's only a few minutes. But uh, there is quite a lot of scenes that I did alter. So basically, I decided to go with the most creative ideas from each scene to match the dialogue. Um, instead of doing drafts of each photo because the time frame was an issue, uh, I was getting things done fast, but I couldn't spend too much time on one photo because then I wouldn't be able to get to the other photos, which would be needed to actually bring the point across for the rest of the dialogue. Um, but it all came out well, so I'm completely happy with how it turned out. Uh, all of these photos are copyright free. I did not steal any photos from any websites. It all is on. It is on a royalty-free media website called Pexels.com. People make a billion videos and pictures and post it on there for you to use as free use. But all of the alterations and editing was done by me via Photoshop. So this is scene one. So scene one out of Two. How these scenes are working is that there's a few photos in each scene, and you will see that this is the first photo for scene one. And then we move on to the second photo in scene one. So that's pretty much showing how life used to be and then how it is now. You got this foresty area, you used to be a kid, like enjoying your life, and now it's life is a little different, and that's what I wanted to bring across. So now we got scene two. We got these little imp creatures that I created in this, and I fully edited this picture. Um, like, all of the weird uh, <laughs> rays of sun and everything was pretty much painted over, and I wanted to bring that uh, black and white to muted colors. That's what we, me and the uh, project uh, leader were talking about. Um, trying to show that slowly back then turns into color and then um you get this like muted color turning into vibrant colors later on because the game is color and i wanted to like ease the k people that are playing the character into the game's um atmosphere so we had a back then kind of thing now we have a this is what this world is now um this is one of my favorite <laughs> actually uh drawings that i did i did the creatures 
myself. There was nothing on this. It was just a snowy uh, forest. And then I edited uh, little brush strokes on trees and such and added creatures in there. I was very proud on this one because I've never made anything like that ever in my life. And it turned out pretty decent, and I was very excited for that. Um, and then this is the last scene uh, picture for scene two. So this one was pretty decent. I actually really like it. I like how the color is mixed in with that to show, like, the magic in the world. Um, and then we have how it used to be. I didn't like how the dragon turned out. I wish I could have done something else, but I was running out of time, so I had to spend less time on certain... Uh, frames and then this is a picture that shows um, the community got bigger as you can see like if you go back it's there's a little few houses and then you're back and there's a whole bunch so that's just showing that in scene three the community got bigger so then we got uh, scene four we show this world with like modern technology this town these fields magic once in a while uh, being different places a really odd dragon that I wish I could have drawn better, but um, that's the first time I ever actually tried to draw even a shadow of a dragon. So I'm proud that it turned out like that. Um, we got a little seance over here and um, some tents over in the corner. It's a little smeared, so you can't really see it. Uh, but that's just showing the world and showing people what they're getting into. So we got more magic. We now see these like elf creatures that shows that this place isn't as you seem uh, to think because people think that they're getting into a regular war game and then all of a sudden, wow, there's mythical creatures here. Um, there's either really nice mythical creatures or really mean mythical creatures. So you got maybe demons, angels, like imps, wendigos. That's what I wanted to put in these um because of the quarrels that people have of all these different species in this world, then you get lower, um, uh, lower styled places for, um, dilapidated kind of look. And then you have the higher end, but they still have their issues because the higher end people, um, still have those quarrels with each other as you can see like a maybe a human man or maybe this man some something else has a quarrel that ends pretty decently bad uh with this uh elf creature guy or something and then we get into scene five you see these uh other creatures or humanoid characters starting to fight or be angry with each other and then it brings the war aspect and what you're actually going to be participating in uh, the game with. In scene five, it ends with a uh, kind of poster. I can't do very decently with human people, um, and I couldn't use the Uncle Sam guy because that's copyright, I'm pretty sure, but I gave it a sort of stylistic idea um, as, like, this is a recruiting uh, a recruiting poster, and this is your character noticing that recruiting poster. And then that's all of these sceneries that I did. Um, so, I'm actually having a... Uh, I was having a little bit of a hard time, like, how are we going to do this with the dialogue? And I actually asked, like, maybe we can do it like this. So, I actually decided to make dialogues from a voice changer on TikTok, because I use TikTok a lot. So this was a pretty interesting test, um, and I just decided, why not? Let's try it. So this is what came of those dialogues. Back when things were different. Oh, sorry. Life was much easier. Okay. That was a little bit loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll turn it down a little. Easier than now. And change came only when necessary. Now. So those are the dialogues. Our world is different. And so are the people in it. So basically, I took these lines for each scene and I did a dialogue for them and then put those in a video. 
Um, Our communities used to be small. So this is like this the whole time. Our town was a quaint little spot. It has this like storytelling vibe. You don't know who's telling the story. It's just someone talking. Um, and then this one's the, actually the only draft that I had to redo because it, I guess it didn't fit the idea or like an audio piece clipped or something. Um, so I had to redo it. So this is what this came out to. With life and society adjustments, though, come disagreements and war. War is inevitable. As so many creatures can't possibly learn to share such a small world. Our wars before were so simple, yet complex in their way. But we never knew that it would come to this. War may not change, but the tactics used in them do. Today, we have some unique ways of utilizing our fight for freedom. It just takes some bravery and focus to take on the task and conquer it. Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, that pops up, and I did de uh, delete the ends of those. So With that changed to this. Society adjustments, though, come disagreements and war. I did retake this about 20 times, and I started talking a little faster, but I sort of got to a point where I liked it anyway, and we stuck with it. Come to this. War may not change, but the tactics used in them do. To so I got to get it to flow a little more, and then it turned into that. So I didn't want to go through all of them because I actually need to start moving into this next piece. Our world, our community, ah! life was... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to actually Our figure out how to go from list. here. It's not letting me. All right. There we go. I've never had that issue before. Um, but then we got the uh, week four intro sceneries finalized into an actual sequence uh, video. So here it is without the subtitles. Back when things were different, easier than these. I'm just going to skip through it. Small, bigger communities. I like to stick with the classics. Our town was a quaint little spot. Soon, small towns turned into crowded slums, and people start daily, and so do the people who created it. With life. So that's sort of how it looked. Um, and I did a little bit of editing with the video and made transitions and audio transitions and made it flow better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to Back the... The next one, which actually has the subtitles, and I'm actually going to let you guys, uh, I'm so used to the you guys thing because of YouTube, but I'm going to let you listen to it, and I'm just going to be quiet. Back when things were different, life was much easier than now, and change came only when necessary. Now, things are surely distinct from how they used to be. At times, I'm not sure how to cope with it. Our world is different, and so are the people in it. You lose and gain people along the way. And that's how life works. Family is still at the important hierarchy level of most things, but Protecting them is higher on that board. Our communities used to be small. Then they grew bigger and bigger. Soon communities became factions and factions became nations. So on and so forth. That's how the world was formed. Even with the bigger communities, I like to stick with the classics. Our town was a quaint little spot, enjoyable for all, and we welcomed visitors. As life shifted, though, more creatures joined our living, and then territorial issues sprouted from the many different species coming to join our towns and cities. Soon, small towns turned into crowded slums, and people started to change for the worse. Society changes daily, and so do the people who created it. With life and society adjustments, though, come disagreements and war. 
war is inevitable, as so many creatures can't possibly learn to share such a small world. Our wars before were so simple, yet complex in their way. But we never knew that it would come to this. War may not change, but the tactics used in them do. Today, we have some unique ways of utilizing our fight for freedom. It just takes some bravery and focus to take on the task and conquer it. So, that is actually how the intro sequence turned out and what um, I'm expecting it to be like. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, I made some damage uh, indication screens for when the character is hurt. Um, I designed the damage screens, a few of them, one through four, not very different from each other, just um, working on trying out maybe screen with more blood, less blood, just something that tells the player, hey, you're hurt, run, or something like that. Um, so that's the last thing that I did for this. So that is all of the work that I did between week three and four. Uh, the sceneries took most of, uh, most of the work up, and then I just grabbed this at the last second, even though it put me over my capacity. I was fine to just make a few things and give it to them anyway. Um, so that is it out of uh, everything that I did these past weeks. Um, my info is right here. I got my LinkedIn, my mastery journal portfolio, which has a bunch of my work on it and my ideas and stuff. Um, my personal portfolio has all of my photography and art, graphic art from back then in my college years of like my bachelor's degree and associate's degrees, uh, where I came from basically. I got a YouTube channel, which I do gaming stuff, art stuff, acting stuff, and throw it all on there. And my recommended YouTube playlist for professional, uh, inf stuff like videos and projects are my school videos and project playlist, which is basically just school videos. Um, the indication that you're on that plat uh, not the platform, the playlist is the book icons. <laughs> um, I put in book emojis there just to show that that's not video games. But yeah, thank you for your time, and uh, I hope you have a brilliant day. <laughs>